Hi guys, it's Mercutia from Land of Ants here, and I am going to be doing another unboxing video, except I kind of already did the unboxing because I got super excited for this product, and I already did a few stress tests, and I played around with it, but um, if you guys know me, you know that I recently received an Omni Nest from Ants Canada. Woohoo, yay, I'm so excited. So here, let's give it a show. Okay, so here's... I gotta say, I put it together already. I would have shown you guys how I put it together, but uh, I got it actually around Christmas time. Very Merry Christmas for me. And um, this is the Omni Nest Vertical. I already uh, watered it in two places, and then I could already see a little bit of an issue with this. These are being held together by tape. When I watered it, it uh, the sponge expanded and actually started to push this out and then the tape got a little bit loose and it's a little bit of a design flaw but I mean I don't know it doesn't completely ruin the formicarium it's not completely usable because of it and actually these sponges can hold quite a bit of water um, but I still imagine that you'd have to uh, refill these res reservoirs quite frequently which is fine. I mean, like most from we carryings, you have to do that. I did the attachment where I attached it directly to the outworld instead of having a tube that connects to it. And I have to say, probably the most annoying part about this formicarium is actually unboxing it because you get the pieces like this, which actually go here, and all the acrylic pieces are covered in this thin film of uh, paper which is a really big pain in the butt to take off. It, there, there are no sides that are like easy to peel. You really have to dig your fingernails in to just get an edge to start peeling it. And then it's a very slow process because they give you a lot of these. And there are different ones for um, whether you want to connect it completely to the formicarium or whether you want to have the outworld separately. Also, what I noticed, and I don't know if this is just <laughs> something that all formicarium sellers are doing is the holes to water the reservoir are very 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 tiny which um, I assume you need a needle point syringe which I have which is not a big deal but the point is they don't give you a needle point syringe in the actual packaging I talked to Mikey about this at Ants Canada and he says that it's because he sells a lot of these to children and stuff so it's very very dangerous including a tool like a needle point syringe but I guess if you don't have one you could just always pop this off and just wet the sponge by hand so that's really not a big deal but um, yeah this is the only really part that bothers me is that it's being held together by tape not only is it not quite aesthetically pleasing but it's not very secure as you can tell like like I'm wiggling it so that's my only change is have something that is a little bit more secure or even maybe putting um, like a hole up here instead that can be covered right or have something to put back on it and that way you can water it through here and the water can trickle down through here but I, I get what they're trying to do with these three places so that you can water it separately but the way I see it um, the water gradients in terms of that it's I mean, it'll, you'll still have dry area over here, and you'll still have moist area over here, so it doesn't really bother me that I would have more water in one, the whole line down here than just maybe one section. Because I did end up watering just these two and not even this one. But frankly, I'm not even going to be using a lot of the area of this nest. This nest actually has quite a lot of um, nesting space, despite the fact that it doesn't look that big. Like, this is my hand, and that's it. It doesn't look huge but because the chamber walls are so thin there's quite a lot of volume there for your ants. Another feature I really like about this is that they've got little sections over here both sides actually where you can pull out and they look like this so if you put the section in like that with the hole facing you then um, it blocks that area from being moved into so this is actually can fit a smaller colony like just this size which I mean for a lot of people can still be like maybe a year old colony for many North American species so this you can keep just opening up the chambers as your colony grows right so I would open this up first when I wanted to expand it then I'd open this one up 
over here, and then I'd open this one up as they got bigger, and they could just keep moving into the rooms up and down. Yeah. So, I mean, I really, really like that in terms of being semi-modular, I guess, where, you know, you can open up the nest as your colony grows. Also, the good part about this also, like, as well, is that this whole thing you can open up and completely remove, and it is really great because I, I need that in a formicarium. I need to be able to clean it and then reuse it. I think this is really, really pretty, right? You can see the Ants Canada logo at the bottom. And so far I'm really, really happy with it. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna show you a video of, I have a formica colony here. There are a lot of ants, I can't focus on here, but there are a lot of ants in this test tube. And I mean, they could still technically live in this tube for a little while longer, but where's the fun in that? I needed a colony to put in the Omni Nest to show you guys a colony in the Omni Nest. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move these guys and see, they've still got a little bit of water in here left, so I'm not sure they'll want to move, but we're gonna try and see if they're gonna move into the Omni Nest. So I'm just going to put them in. Hey guys, so this is um, just a day after dumping them into the Outworld and I was not pleasant with their move, but they didn't have any brood, so uh, I was perfectly happy with not being as gentle as I could have when moving them. And they had all dispersed into the Outworld in like three distinct groups, and now, a day after I'd gone to work, gone to school, come back, and now they are perfectly settled in the Omni Nest. So yeah, I just used a magnifying glass to show you up close. But as you can see, they are within the Omni Nest nest, and they're doing they're doing pretty well. They seem to like it. I have a liquid feeder out there for them, and a water feeder, as well as this still the sponge still being pretty decently moist, but they don't seem to be congregating to the more humid side of the nest. I know I saw some of the workers exploring that side, but they seem to be more contented at the entrance of it. So that's fine. I mean, there's still plenty of room for them here. If I could focus, I'm not focusing here. Let's, that, that'll help. So yeah, I'm quite happy with how they've moved in and I was afraid that I was gonna have to like corral them in. Um, I did the queen yesterday and when she was in there the few workers came and I was worried that by today they wouldn't have come in and I would have to physically corral them in one by one and that was gonna take a while but I'm happy I don't have to do that. So that's them in their perfect little omni nest so I'm happy how it turned out. Okay so this is Mercutia from Land of Ants here signing off.